What's quack lacking guys? I'm a duck quack here and welcome back to another episode on Talk Time. So, this episode I want to do something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about the actual gameplay and mechanics of FIFA. And not about the whole game in general, I just wanted to narrow this down to a certain topic. See if you guys enjoyed it. If you did, we could carry it on. If not, then well, no harm done anyway. So in this episode, I wanted to talk about two things. The referee and injuries, fouls and that kind of stuff. So firstly, a lot of people mentioned that they hate the fact that the referee can get in the way of the game, get in the way of the ball, and is actually a physical object on the pitch, opposed to something that the ball could pass through or wouldn't intercept players' runs, etc, etc. Now, this is something that I personally disagree with. The referee is a physical item, a physical player, a physical person on the pitch in real football. He often intercepts the ball in real football. Well, not often, but it can happen. He can get in the way. He can block player runs. It's not something that occurs regularly on the game, but if you are passing it and you do pass it in the path of the referee, that's your own fault. If you do run into the referee, it is kind of your own fault still. It's the same kind of principle as driving games and stuff. When they've got barriers or cones or something, there should be an interaction with the car when it goes through these objects. It's part of the map, it's part of the course, it's part of the game of whatever you're playing. So it's an object that's been programmed into it, and it's something that drivers would have to deal with in real life. Like with golf games, would you say that, oh, there's trees there. I don't want the trees to affect the ball. I just want to play a simulation game. If you shoot the ball into a tree, then the ball's going to stop dead. And you're going to have to take your next shot from where the ball has landed. It's the same with all sports games. They've all got these obstacles, these interferences on the pitch or on the map, should I say. And personally, I think it's something that... Although it can be very frustrating and annoying at times, we should learn to play around. You need a referee to play football. You need a referee to make the decisions. So a referee has to be on the pitch. On the flip side of things, though, the referee isn't great on this game. Let's not lie, guys. The amount of cards that you get for doing absolutely nothing. So when they're in the box and you barge them off the ball gently or you just knock them off the ball or they, they take a shot and they kick you opposed to you moving into them. And it's given as a penalty, a free kick whatever. That needs to be redesigned. That needs to be reprogrammed in the game. The amount of tackles that come in from behind, they don't touch the ball, they take you out from behind. You're thinking, you're there, you're, you're like, great, I've won a self free kick, which you have usually, and you're thinking the referee's going to send them off. At least it's a booking. Nine times out of ten, the referee will just run up to the player, say, let's not have any more of this, and then move on with the game. That's not acceptable. It's not acceptable to see it once in a match, let alone four, five, six times in a game. If a player comes in from behind and you're standing in the opposite direction, they come in from behind, take you out. That is a red card. It's a red card in football. It's a red card on this game. This is something they really need to change for the next uh, FIFA. For FIFA 18, they need to make sure that the referee and the interactions, uh, well, I personally think the interactions are still fine, but the calls, the decisions they make, that needs to be completely reworked. Another little thing that I dislike is the way, so you know when you pass a ball and it's heading out of the pitch, say the opponent passes it and your player's running after it, and it's just about to go out for a throw in or a corner or whatever, you go to control it, but the AI decides, no, this is going to be your throw and this is going to be your corner, it's best if you don't touch this, and it just doesn't let your player move to this ball, so it does go out, you do win the throw in or corner or whatever, but it's not what you wanted. This can happen on breakaways. This can happen in huge defensive plays where a defensive throwing can be dangerous on this game. And you'd much rather just take back possession of the ball, be in control of it, and do what you want to do. Now, I don't know if you guys find this a huge problem as well, but the ball literally it just rolls out and you can't control your play. You have no say. You run over to it. They'll kind of just stop themselves, let it go out, and then go to take the throw in. And that's not acceptable. You can't take elements of control away from the user. Whether you think it's best for them or not, it has to be in the game and you can't let these kind of decisions determine whether you're going to be able to build up attack from a set piece or you're going to be able to keep the ball in play and carry on. That's another mechanic that really needs to be reworked. Whether it's going to go out in your favor or not is irrelevant. You should be in charge. If you run over to that ball and you touch it, like we all used to do in the older FIFAs, you'd run over to a ball that's going out of play. You'd try and keep it in. Instead, your player would stick a leg out to try and control it. It would knock it out. It would go out for a goal kick or a opponent's throw in instead. That's fine. I'd rather take that chance opposed to being told exactly what I have to do. Now, the biggest problem I have, it revolves around injuries. And this is a massive problem for me. So say a player comes in and they make one of these stupid tackles from behind and the referee just doesn't care. Or the referee plays the advantage. Advantages are fine. They should be part of the game. 
They're pretty much per well, they're not perfect, but they're much better than they've ever been in this FIFA, and it's a great addition. But what isn't okay is when a player comes in, takes you out from behind, the referee plays the advantage, you have your mini attack or whatever, it dies down, and then the opponent counters. Now, at this point, your player should be back up and running around the pitch. It doesn't need to be that realistic. If you're brought down, if you're fouled, we don't want our players causing a fuss, protesting it. We don't want them lying on the floor in agony for five minutes in-game. That's how long they can do it for, roughly. About five minutes of in-game time, they can just lie on the pitch. You never see that in football. Five minutes is a ridiculous amount of time. The whole problem with this is it's not user-controlled. It's an AI deciding how the game is going to play out. So for this time, firstly, you've been fouled. And let's just say you haven't been given a free kick for it. That's the first wrong problem. But no problem. We'll move on from that. Secondly, this player is now lying on the floor. You can't get this player up. There are no buttons you can press to say, all right, get up, that's enough. Or come on, let's move along. That player is stuck there motionless. You can't control them. You're a man down on the pitch, technically. And half the time, the player actually just gets in the way of you building up an attack. You try and pay a pass across, he's just lying there. Fantastic. The game cannot leave elements like that in here and be a competitive game. If a tackle comes in, they foul the player, even if a free kick's not given, the player needs to get up and move on. We can't have a competitive game that's determined on luck or chance. When a foul comes in, I'm guessing there's some kind of random number generator, if you like, that decides whether it's going to be one that causes the player to be injured. If they're injured in career mode, then fine, make them be injured, make them stay down, make you substitute them off. If they're injured on a competitive online game, they have to get back up. RNG cannot be a factor to determine whether or not your player stays down or not. Now, the worst thing about this is you have no control over it, but your opponent is the one that causes this. It's almost as if your opponent is getting rewarded for playing recklessly, making bad tackles, making poor decisions. That's not acceptable either. Your opponent needs to be punished. So say your opponent came in with a bad tackle from behind, play went on, but his player stayed down injured because of the bad tackle. I know this would never happen. But that would make sense. The user who made the tackle is being punished for the mistake. The player's on the floor, he's down to 10 men for a bit. But not only are you punished by maybe not receiving the free kick or not getting anywhere from the advantage, you're then punished for a further long in-game time because your player is lying on the floor, rolling around, being absolutely ridiculous. Completely unacceptable. The whole refereeing system needs to be reworked. The whole injury system needs to be reworked in competitive games, online games. It can't be a part of it. Anyway, guys, it was just a shorter episode of this. So it's something a little bit different. I thought I'd talk about some of the fundamentals of the game. Just a couple of like the referee, the injury side of it and the dead ball situation. See if you guys agree with me. See if you've got any counter arguments or other points to add down below in the comments. If you did enjoy this kind of series, then make sure you drop that like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you didn't enjoy it, well, make sure you tell me so I don't waste your time making more of them. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.